All right, let's get straight into it. What's good, y'all? It's your boy DDG. You're watching GQ on the rocks. This is my first piece. Just say DDG. It's very, very heavy. I paid $18,000 for it. Very, very expensive at the time. We bought this in 2016. Come over here. I barely wear this because I be poking people. And I actually, I be I stabbed myself a few times with this. So this is a very, very dangerous piece. I actually had, I couldn't bring this in the club once. That's how dangerous this piece is. It's very, very, very sharp, but I wear it for music videos. But this was 10K for me. Got from Icebox. I'm not gonna lie, I seen a little pump with them all. But he had the ones that was like all the way around his arm. And I was gonna get that. And then I was messing around with it. And every time I put my wrist down, it like stabs the, the table or whatever. So I ended up getting this one where it's only spikes at the bottom. So it's more a little more comfortable, but I barely wear it now. My favorite piece that I got here, I would say, I would have to say this one. I didn't like it at first, let me be honest with you. I didn't like it at first. I thought it was just a little too bulky, but the more that I wear it, I feel like I just gotta style it a certain way, but I wanted to just get me like a big circle piece. Peter Marco made this one. So they got Pontiac at the top, DDG in the middle. Pontiac made DDG, repping the city. No cap. This was 50,000. So I paid 50,000, you got baguettes in the middle right here. Got diamonds on the side right here. Got diamonds on the side right here. Diamonds everywhere, so I flooded out. Rex. I really only wear this in music videos. You probably never see me out in public with this on just because it's, it shines a lot, it's doing too much. And I feel like this is more so like a music video piece rather than something that I wear every day. So, you know, I pick and choose when I want to wear it. Got this piece right here. It say DDG Squad. I love my fans. Not even my fans, not my fans. I'm saying fans because I simplify for the people that don't know me, but my family, my, my squad. So I got this chain to represent them. And I was been supposed to give it away, but I never gave it away. But I spent 4K on it. Got it from Icebox. Got baguettes in the face. One of my special people gonna get it. All right, we can go over to this one. This piece right here, cool little choker chain. Got a little spikes in it, something different. Craftsmanship, paid 25,000 for it. We're gonna come over here. This is the big Cuban. I done ran through a few Cubans in my jewelry career. Um, I'm a cheap collector though, I ain't gonna lie. Like I be trading shit, you know? I like to keep my money. If I get bored of some jewelry and I don't want it no more, I ain't gonna keep it. You know, I traded in some, I had like a two different Cubans and I was like, I got a white Cuban and a rose Cuban, why not just get one two-tone? But this right here, 45. Super heavy, I barely wear it, but I usually put it on this chain actually. Let me do this. I got this chain specifically for this, but I also wear it by itself sometimes. This was actually, this was actually a necklace that, I mean a chain that I had. This was like a regular all white chain that I had and I cut it in half and I turned it into a bracelet, see? A lot of these rappers be out here spending extra money for nothing, you know what I mean? Remember I told you about that chain that I had that I traded in, I lied. I actually cut it in half and made two bracelets. I don't know where the other bracelet at, but it looks fire. You would've never known unless I told you. Tennis chains, you would think these wouldn't cost a lot. And I see a lot of fake tennis chains, you know what I mean? And it kind of discredits how much I paid for this. And it kind of hit almost the same, which is very sad. It makes me feel like I should've bought the fake one, but I can't wear fake jewelry. So that's why I have to spend so much money. Even back in the day when I didn't have money like that, I couldn't really wear jewelry because my neck would break out. So I got this right here. 20K for this one tennis chain. Pointers is crazy. Bangs in the light. Definitely worth it. This one right here. Pay 15 for this. Diamonds are smaller. Probably got finesse though. Y'all comment below. Did I get finesse or what? I don't know. Rose gold pinky ring. I have probably haven't worn this in like five months or something like that. I spent five on it. Cool ring, got diamonds all around, all around the sides. Come right here, got this right here. Now, secret for y'all, I got this some ice box, right? Cartier sells the same one, but they charge like 40,000. 
you know what I mean, for the same thing. I get I get nice diamonds and I get the white gold. I spent 10 on that. So. Uh, this right here, this is my grill. This is another music video piece. You'll never see me wearing this. It's very, very uncomfortable. I don't like wearing grills just for the simple fact that, you know, I secret. Nobody knows this. I haven't told the world this. I have veneers. Nobody knows this. I never told nobody this. But I have veneers. So when I put this on there, it's kind of uncomfortable. You know what I mean? So I don't really like wearing it. But I wear it in the music videos because it's shiny. Yeah, I ain't gonna wear it. Y'all not gonna be able to talk. So. Let's get into the watches. The watches is really my thing. I'm really into watches and I've been through a few of them, but this is what I have here today. I got this Rolex right here. Got a little scratch in it. I don't really wear this one. This is kind of like a red face. It matched red if I wear red, just to add some pizzazz to my outfit. This was 30 bucks. This is just a Datejust. This is a Datejust Rolex. It's more of like a startup Rolex. This plane, you can probably get it for like 8K or something like that. I don't know, 10K or something like that. So. Definitely an upcharge with the diamonds, but it's very, very nice. It shines, it do what it gotta do. And if I wear red, then it makes the outfit pop. Come over here. We got the Patek Philippe. This is one of my favorite watches. All white, pay 60,000 for it. I bought this on just a random day. Always wanted a Patek. I got all the other name brand watches, so I always wanted one of these. It ain't shining too crazy in here because the light ain't right, but when I go outside, they blind people. This is my most recent purchase. This is a Royal Oak AP bust down raised bezel all around it. I just got this. Uh, it's the chronograph. I don't really know too much about it or nothing like that, but it costs 80 dollars So that's a lot of money that I just spent on this. So let me go ahead and put this. Put that on right there. This is the big boy. I think I'm gonna get more into these. I'm gonna get some more like you know, popping watches. I feel like this is a man's watch. Diamonds busting, crazy, 80K. Now we're gonna come to the Big Bang. This is one of my dumbest purchases, but it's kind of smart at the same time. This watch looks like a G-Shock. You know, a lot of people might look at this watch and be like, you yeah, know, what is it? But if you look closely, I don't know if y'all got the zoom on it. Look at that See that little piece in there? I don't know what the it is, but I know it costs a lot. That's all I know. Look at it. I don't know what these two lines mean. I don't know nothing about this watch, but I do know this. Hope your zoom button, your zoom button work on this part too. Man. Check in right here. Uh, get right there. Get in the middle. Can you read that? It's a limited edition. You, you read that? Limited edition, 16 out of 100. It's only 100 of these made in the world. I got one of them. I don't know if I was supposed to show you that serial number or not, but I don't care. Um, but this is a Richard Mill. Johan Blake is the name of it. It's only a hundred of them. And I got this when I, my mindset when I got this watch was I wanted something that's not loud, but if I run into Bill Gates, now if I run into the, a normal civilian, they don't know what I got on. But if I run into Bill Gates, so I'm running to anybody, anybody with money, anybody that knows anything about Richard Mills, it's a statement, you know what I mean? It starts a conversation. I bought this watch strictly just to have conversations with people that I would like to talk to and I can learn from, so. $185,000 is what I spent on this watch. And it's the, less, the least flashy one, so. Just like that, man. I see other rappers, I see their jewelry collection. I, you know, I take a little bit of notes, but I'm more of like a watch guy, I'm more of like, I want to get to the point where I'm not wearing diamonds anymore, but I'm just doing this for now as a 23-year-old with millions of dollars, and I'm just going with the flow, you know? All right, y'all, this your boy DDG on the rocks GQ. Appreciate you tuning in. I'm out.